Welcome to Inspire and Success, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 25 most Oscar-winning movies of all time. But under that, you're the most amazingly astounding, wonderful girl. We narrowed our list by focusing on those that offered more than just few laughs and gasps. Our list includes the cinematic landmarks that nabbed the Oscar and ultimately made Hollywood what it is today. Juliet does not come on for 20 pages. It will be all right. How will it? I don't know. It's a mystery. Due to the huge number of excellent Oscar Award and Academy Award winning movies, number 25, Gravity, is a 2013 science fiction thriller film directed by Alfonso Cuaron, starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. The film follows two astronauts who are stranded in space after their shuttle is destroyed by debris. Gravity received widespread critical acclaim for its direction, visuals, cinematography, acting, and score. The film won seven Academy Awards, including Best Director, Best Cinematography, Best Film Editing, Best Original Score, Best Sound Editing, and Best Visual Effects. Number 24, Shakespeare in Love, is a 1998 period romantic comedy film directed by John Madden, written by Mark Norman and Tom Stoppard, and produced by Harvey Weinstein. She is to marry Lord Wessex. What should I do? If you love her, you must do as she asks. I break her heart and mine. It is only yours you can know. She loves me, Thomas. Does she say so? Shakespeare in Love received critical acclaim and was a box office success, grossing $289 million worldwide and becoming the ninth highest grossing film of 1998. The film won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Actress for Paltrow, and Best Supporting Actress for Judi Dench. Number 23, Schindler's List, is a 1993 American epic historical drama film directed and produced by Steven Spielberg and written by Steven Zeilian. What are you making? Hinges, sir. I've got some workers coming in tomorrow. Where the hell are they from again? The film is based on the true story of Oskar Schindler, a German businessman who saved the lives of more than a thousand Jewish refugees during the Holocaust by employing them in his factories. Schindler's List received critical acclaim and won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Adapted Screenplay. Number 22, Dances with Wolves, is a 1990 American epic Western film starring, directed, and produced by Kevin Costner in his feature directorial debut. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? It seems to be the question, all right? See, you could ask the major. And you don't know. The film received critical acclaim and won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. It is known for its portrayal of Native American culture and the historical period in which it is set. Number 21, Out of Africa, is a 1985 American epic romantic drama film directed and produced by Sidney Pollack, starring Meryl Streep and Robert Redford. Hey, no, 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 no. I wonder if you'd dance. Put him down, man. Come on. Now, break it up. Come on. The film is based on the 1937 autobiographical book, Out of Africa, written by Isaac Dennison. The film received critical acclaim and won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. Number 20, The Sting, is a 1973 American caper film set in 1936, involving a complicated plot by two professional grifters to con a mob boss. Your boss is quite a card player, Mr. Kelly. How does he do it? He cheats. Well, in that case, I'll keep my money and we'll just have another game. The film stars Paul Newman as Henry Gondorf and Robert Redford as Johnny Hooker. The film received widespread acclaim and numerous accolades, including seven Academy Awards. Number 19, Patton, is a 1970 American epic biographical war film about U.S. General George Patton during World War II. The film received critical acclaim and won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Actor for George Scott. It is known for its portrayal of the complex and controversial character of General Patton and his role in World War II. Number 18, Lawrence of Arabia, is a 1962 epic biographical adventure drama film based on the life of Lawrence, a British intelligence officer who fought alongside Arab guerrilla forces in the Middle East during World War I.
The film received critical acclaim and won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. It is widely regarded as one of the greatest films ever made and is known for its stunning cinematography, memorable score, and powerful performances. Number 17, The Bridge on the River Kwai, is a 1957 epic war film directed by David Lean and based on the 1952 novel written by Pierre Boulle. I must carry out my orders. Oh, quite, quite. My orders are to complete the bridge by the 12th day of May. The story is set during World War II and follows a group of British prisoners of war who are forced to build a bridge over the River Kwai for their Japanese captors. The bridge on the River Kwai received critical acclaim and won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. The film is known for its memorable score, stunning cinematography, and powerful performances. Number 16, The Best Years of Our Lives is a 1946 American drama film directed by William Wyler. It portrays the lives of three United States servicemen adjusting to civilian life after returning home from World War II. Well, oh, Don, I'll carry it. <laughs> What's the matter, Ma? The film won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. Number 15, Slumdog Millionaire, is a 2008 British drama film directed by Danny Boyle and written by Simon Beaufoy. The film received critical acclaim. <laughs> and won eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. It is known for its powerful performances, compelling storytelling, and its portrayal of life in the slums of Mumbai. Number 14, Amadeus, is a 1984 American period biographical drama film directed by Milos Forman and adapted by Peter Schaffer from his 1979 stage play of the same name. Or this. This. Amadeus received critical acclaim and won eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actor for Murray Abraham. The film is known for its stunning cinematography, powerful performances, and its portrayal of the complex relationship between Salieri and Mozart. Number 13, Gandhi, is a 1982 epic biographical movie based on the life of Mahatma Gandhi, a prominent leader in the Indian independence movement against the British Empire. You and I are uh, brothers born of the same mother India if you have fears. The film received critical acclaim and won eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. It is considered a powerful portrayal of Gandhi's life and his role in India's struggle for independence. Number 12, Cabaret, is a 1972 American musical drama film directed by Bob Foss and starring Liza Minnelli, Michael York, and Joel Grey. It makes the world go right. The film received critical acclaim and won eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. It is known for its powerful performances, memorable music, and its portrayal of the decadent and dangerous atmosphere of pre-Nazi Germany. Number 11, My Fair Lady, is a 1964 American musical comedy drama film directed by George Cukor and adapted from the 1956 Lerner and Lowe stage musical based on George Bernard Shaw's 1913 stage play Pygmalion. The film received critical acclaim and won eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. Number 10, On the Waterfront, is a 1954 American crime drama film directed by Elia Kazan and written by Bud Schulberg. It wasn't him, Charlie, it was you. you. Remember that night in the garden, you came down my dressing room and said, kid, this ain't your night. The film received 12 Academy Award nominations and won eight, including Best Picture, Best Actor for Brando, Best Supporting Actress for Ava Marie Saint, and Best Director for Kazan. It is considered one of the greatest films of all time and is known for its powerful performances, compelling storytelling, and its portrayal of the dangerous and corrupt world of the waterfront. Number 9, From Here to Eternity, is a 1953 American romantic war drama film directed by Fred Zinnemann and based on the 1950 51 novel of the same name by James Jones. Well, if I'm not looking for him... He still isn't here. Well, I'm looking for him. You know where he is? 
The film received critical acclaim and won eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. It is known for its powerful performances, compelling storytelling, and its portrayal of the complexities of life in the military. Number 8, Gone with the Wind, is a 1939 American epic historical romance film adapted from the 1936 novel by Margaret Mitchell. Don't you want to marry me? I'm going to marry Melanie. But you can't, not if you care for me. Oh, my dear, why must you make me say things that will hurt you? The film received widespread acclaim and won eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actress for Vivian Lee. It is known for its grand scale, memorable performances, and its place as a classic of American cinema. Number seven, The English Patient, is a 1996 epic romantic war drama film directed by Anthony Minghella, based on the 1992 novel of the same name by Michael Ondaatje. How about this? You give me a name for everything. It doesn't matter who. I get something, you keep something. The movie received critical acclaim and won nine Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. It is known for its compelling storytelling, powerful performances, and fateful love story set against the backdrop of war. Number six, The Last Emperor, is a 1987 epic biographical drama film about the life of Puyi, the final emperor of China. Why you is your wife, Elizabeth? Who am I? I'm nobody. The film received widespread acclaim and won nine Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. It is known for its sweeping account of Puyi's life and the historical significance of being the first feature film permitted to be filmed inside the Forbidden City. Number 5, Gigi, is a 1958 American musical romantic comedy film directed by Vincente Minnelli and based on the 1944 novella by Colette. The film received critical acclaim and won nine Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. It is known for its memorable music, stunning costumes, and its portrayal of the decadent and romantic atmosphere of Belle Epoque Paris. Number 4, West Side Story, is a musical conceived by Jerome Robbins with music by Leonard Bernstein, lyrics by Stephen Sondheim, and a book by Arthur Lawrence. The story is set in 1950s New York City and follows the rivalry between two teenage street gangs of different ethnic backgrounds, the Jets and the Sharks, and the forbidden love between Tony, a former member of the Jets, and Maria, the sister of the leader of the Sharks. The movie won 10 Academy Awards. Number 3, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, is a 2003 epic fantasy adventure film directed by Peter Jackson, based on the third volume of Tolkien's novel, The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> The film is the final installment in the trilogy and follows the journey of Frodo Baggins, a brave hobbit, as he and his loyal friend Sam venture into the dark lands of Mordor to destroy the One Ring and defeat the evil Sauron. The film received critical acclaim and won 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Adapted Screenplay. Number 2, Titanic, is a 1997 American epic romance and disaster film directed, written, co-produced, and co-edited by James Cameron. Don't do it. Stay back. Don't come any closer. Come on. Just give me your hand. I'll pull you back over. No. Stay where you are. I mean it. The film stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet as members of different social classes who fall in love aboard the ship during its ill-fated maiden voyage. The film received critical acclaim and won 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. It is known for its stunning visual effects, powerful performances, and its portrayal of the tragic sinking of the Titanic. The film has become a cultural phenomenon and remains one of the highest grossing films of all time. Number 1, Ben-Hur, is a 1959 American epic religious film directed by William Wyler, starring Charlton Heston as the title character. It is a remake of the 1925 silent film and is based on Lou Wallace's 1880 novel, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ. The film received critical acclaim and won 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director. 